Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it's a brand new day here on Sugar Cube Creek. Uh, last weekend, I did a bunch of catfishing, and I uh, did real good. I had I uh, I caught 35 catfish last weekend, and and 27 of them were in were in about a four-hour time span. So uh, today, I'm back down here on Sugar Cube Creek, hunting for some for some uh, sturgeon. And I'm just going to see what happens today. I, we've got a storm front that's coming through. It's been raining. We've had a lot of wind. Uh, it's been just kind of not very good for a few days. So I'm, I'm kind of just hoping that today is going to be a good day. There hasn't been anybody fishing the hole this week yet, I don't think. Um, nobody in here today. And so, I guess we're, I'll sign off for this for right now until I get, until I get some action, then I'll, then I'll start it back up. I, like I said, I just got into the hole and I just got dropped down to the bottom, so until then, I'm going to sign off. Okay, I got fish number one on. I'm going to try to get my other, my other reel in real quick this fish has been biting on me for about 15 minutes on both rods and, and uh, he finally he finally took it up Yeah, that's there he is right there. That fish is going to be a six-foot fish right there. Oh, and here he comes, right on my lap. All right. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, that fish is a, that's a six foot fish. Let's see if I can get me in here with him a little bit. I've got a, a fish that's messing with my bait. I'm gonna see if I can get this on video with a hookup maybe. I'm gonna see if I can get my rod in there. They don't bite very hard. You see that twitch? That's it, right there. Just a little twitch is all you get a lot of times. It's been a while since I've caught a fish today. I caught one kind of early and then it's been a couple of hours since I've hooked up with one, so I was beginning to wonder if I was going to. I'm glad I got that hook up on film. All there was was just a just a little bit of a twitch and just a little twitch and just a little twitch and it doesn't seem like when I when I get bites with this with this setup like I've got it um, I just don't get those crashing those crashing bites like I know that some guys say they do. I think this is a fairly small fish. He's coming up. Oh, 
I got a little bit of a jump there. Cool. I hope that was all on film. He's between four and five foot. Nice Gave me a little fish. bit of a jump out there about 15 feet away. That was nice. That was a added bonus for the day. I'm glad I got that. There's some air bubbles coming up. That was a good little fish. Nice little jump. You know a fish, I call a fish like that little, but in reality, you know, a fish that size is going to be between 75 and 100 pounds. That's not a little fish anywhere. I mean, anywhere you fish in the United States, a 75 to 100 pound fish is a, is a whopper of a fish, but it just happens to be that in this particular area 75 pound fish is a small one <laughs> that's why we call it sugar cube creek because it's the sweet spot baby okay he's coming up there he is right there thought he was gonna give up but he got a little burst of energy there at the end I don't think it's gonna take him long to come up now though he must have been coming up awful green because he was he's got a fair amount of a pot of pull still in him Operate. Okay. This fish is is over is over four foot, but I don't know if he's quite five foot. That kind of got a little western. <laughs> I instead of instead of pushing him off, I just went ahead and let him roll over and swim out. And I kind of know better than to do that, but it's it it was uh, tempting since I didn't have him in my lap good. So anyway, that was number two for the day, number twelve for the year, and. I'm sending another rod back to the bottom to see if I can find the crack and I'm looking for the big one. First one today was a pretty good fish. But he wasn't a a super toad. I'd really like to find a an eight foot plus fish today. I guess only time will tell. I, I'll have to just keep at it and see what happens. Until the next one, I'll, I'll uh, turn this off for now. Okay, I'm getting another bite here. I'm going to see if I can get this on film. Oh, that one just straight up, that one just straight up took it hard. So much for me saying they don't normally do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's going to jump. He's going to jump. Nope, doggone it. I sure thought for a minute he was going to. 
This is fish number three for the day. This fish has got a lot of power. It's hard to tell what they're like at the first couple of minutes of the fight, but I didn't think I had anything special on there for a little bit. Now I'm beginning to believe he's, he's a pretty good fish. He's kind of leaning on me and I'm kind of leaning on him. Wow, that is a good, good pulling fish. I'm glad to have made, made acquaintance with him this morning. This is a good fish. We're kind of at a tall right here. We're he don't want to come up, and I don't. I can't get him up. I can get a little bit, and then and then he takes it back. Ah. Oh man, I don't want to put too much weight on him. Dog on it. I don't want to lose him. I'm afraid if I really horse him, I'm going to lose him. But he is just sitting down there right now. He's not pulling me or nothing. He's just laying down there being big and fat and lazy. Come on, dude. There, that got him going. He's pulling me again now. I got to keep him working. Oh, he's going to take me for a spin. Here we go. Round and round and round we go. held one just jump behind me. That's awesome. I know that wasn't him. Maybe they're gonna gang up on me and get me. They are a smart fish. I don't think I'll give them that credit yet. They like to pull some shenanigans, but Oh man, this fish is, this fish is, is kick ass. This is a good fish. If this would have been a normal little rinky dink in here, we'd be getting this thing pretty close to an end right now and I don't feel any end in it at all. He's gonna try to take me back over into the rocks and I'm gonna kick my motor on and I'm gonna drag him or try to drag him back out here and get him back into some country that's got a little softer bottom on it. I gotta stay in this mud. This fish might be the Kraken. This thing is huge. This is a big fish because Little fish usually run out of steam by now, and this fish don't have any 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 uh, thoughts right now on giving up. I can tell you that right now. I just had another sturgeon surface beside the boat. It wasn't the one I got caught. I can guarantee you that. That's a little unnerving. Here's another one jump right there. Man, these these sturgeon around me are are jumping all over the place. I don't know if they're plotting a coup or what, I don't know. I don't know why, but my camera died for a minute. I'm still on this fish. I'm, I've been on him for 40 minutes now. Oh, there he goes. That was a big fish. That's a seven foot plus fish. 
that's a solid seven foot fish. This is a colossal fish. Fish with kick ass skills of fighting. Uh, this fish has got it, absolutely got it all. It's, it's a stud, stud fish. I wish that he'd have jumped for me. But uh, we're still kind of in a cold water period, so jumping is just really starting up right now. I'm able to, to bring him up quite a little bit right now, so I'm I'm thinking I'm getting pretty close to seeing him up close here pretty quick. Okay, he's right underneath me. He is right underneath. There he is. Wow, that is a big fish. Holy mackerel, that is a big fish. Oh my God, goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that fish. Holy cow. Holy mackerel, that is a that is a, a monster of a fish. Holy mackerel, that is a big fish. This fish has got all of his fins. This is a toad. Man, this fish is heavy. Holy mackerel, this fish is heavy. He has swallowed the hook. I'm gonna see if I can fish it out of there with my grabbers. Let up, dude. I've got the beast unhooked. Man, this is a monster of a fish. This is what sturgeon fishing's all about right here. This fish is, is a whopper. Yeah, he's all of, he's all of the length of my, my pole and then some. He's over seven foot. This is a super fish. This fish right here is gonna probably be close to 300 pounds. It's big and fat and gnarly. This fish is awesome. I can't even begin to say how much that I, I appreciate having the chance to fight such an animal. This is a super fish. I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna see if I can take some pictures. Well, I, I just got baited up and back down to the bottom. Man, that last fish was, was spectacular. Um, I, I don't know for certain the exact length, but I know the fish was well over seven feet because my rod, there was a bunch of fish hanging out on the other side of that rod. And so I'm, I'm guessing he's, he was either at eight foot or maybe even a little bit better. That fish was big and heavy and just uh, just an awesome, awesome fish. Um, if I don't get another fish today, I'll be happy. I've got three right now. I've got two that are that were good. Uh, the first one was was six foot, and then this third one was was you know in that seven eight foot range. Just a super fish, just a super duper fish. Had all of his fins. Just a good looking, good fighting fish. And I was able to get some, get a little bit of video and some pictures of him. Uh, he took, he took um, almost an hour to fight. 
and uh, unfortunately some of my video stopped right in the middle and I don't know why but anyway I got I did get good video of, of the of the end and the beginning so I'm real happy with that so anyway I'm gonna sit here and watch these rods for a little bit and hopefully I get some takers I'll see you in a bit okay I got fish number four on right now Whoa, that little stink came right up beside the boat. Oh, that little bastard is, has got my other line. Doggone it. I'm glad that wasn't a big fish. Oh, a big fish would have been in trouble because that fish literally hit the end of my boat. This fish is only maybe two feet long. I'm just gonna burn him on up here and get him in here. This is fish number four. He's just a little dude. He's just a little stink. Okay, there he goes. I'm gonna let him go. He's swam underneath the boat and is gone. Now I've got myself a colossal mess that he created for me. That was fish number four, little tiny one. I'm gonna straighten this mess out. 